Right guys, what is going on? So we've got the White Paradox Kinetics collab bike behind me and I'm taking it out for the very first time. It looks like it might rain. It's that time of year where it's very difficult and very windy to get and do videos and get decent footage. But I'm going to get out quickly on this and at least find out how fast does it go. Honestly, the worst time of year for doing this kind of thing in England. But still, we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully it comes out without too much rain all over the uh, camera lens. All right, guys, it is a busy, busy, stormy day. We're going to give it a best shot, despite the crap weather. Someone pay for me to go to Hawaii to work and live. Oh, it's so windy. All right, we're just going to go for it. No idea how fast we're going, no speedo on the bike, strong headwind. Tuck it in, hoping for the best. Not sure what that speed was, obviously. There is no speed over this kit. It's the thing with these mid drives, you've got to get them in the right gear to pull away. You've got to really, on a, on a powerful kit like this, you've got to come off the power a bit between changing gears. Because that, that just, look, you're almost, almost take the front end up and pull away. And then max out, you've got to change gears. You've absolutely got to use, make use of the gears on mid drives. That's a massive difference between the hub drives and the mid. You've got to utilise the gears, which if you don't change gear correctly, it can be quite taxing on the gear system. You can end up ripping teeth off the sprocket. It's that brutal. We're going to try this again. So you used to pulling away on a motorbike. It's quick but it's not that quick. Here we go. Coming off the throttle between gear changes, throttle only. So windy today though. Right. Hopefully don't get anyone in front of us. We have got someone. I'm going to go around twice. Too, mi too much traffic about to go for a high speed run. Gonna give it another try though guys. No idea what speed we're getting. We look back on the Insta360 app. Right here we go. Don't pull out in front of me, you bunch of people.
Alright, no idea what that was. I'm going to try and go up this bank without stacking it. We are going to go for a little zip in the woods before we go back because of the rain. The miles will get stick in here. It's obviously very muddy in here, but it's in its natural environment, I guess. Let's have a little blast around the woods, see what this thing can do. Oh, fuck it. Kind of lost the Insta360 camera there guys, sorry about that. I don't think I've got the Insta360 secure enough to go too crazy. Oh shit. Right. I think I need to admit to myself that I'm covered in too many cables. I've got the Insta360 bracket in a position just for going on a flat straight road. Definitely not secure enough for off-roading. I've got a lav microphone hanging off me. I've got the XC90 battery cable connected to me. I feel like I'm hooked up in a hospital. Anyway, let's do a quick, quick, quick lap of this. Uh, let's try this uh, little hill. Nice, that's really steep. Right, I've got it in the very lowest gear now. We've got quite quite a steep mound of tarmac here. Very steep. Wow. I would expect the majority of e-bikes would really struggle with that. We'll try it on this slope, which is even steeper. Now, this is really steep. I'll be very surprised. Whoa! <laughs> I reckon we could do that again. I reckon we got it. I think I just needed to get my weight over the bike so the front didn't lift. That was very, very impressive. To see my wheel spin marks. <laughs> right, here we go again. Nice. For the size of this motor, it's incredibly powerful. And I don't think it's any noisier than any other mid-drive kit I've had. All mid-drives inherently seem to have some noise. It's pretty good. Quite a weapon, this thing. Not the most ideal conditions for doing a video review with the rain on the lens, camera falling off, the wind. Um, far from ideal. First impressions of this uh, 
Paradox Kinetics kit is pretty good. It doesn't, to my surprise, it doesn't have pedal assist, which I did think it had some form of pedal assist. I must have, uh, I must have read the description wrong because it doesn't actually have pedal assist. What it does have is something that's, I think they call it a uh, fixed throttle or fixed speed, something or other. Basically, it's like the equivalent of, uh, it's pretty much cruise control. And you can only use it at 60% throttle, but I think what that's useful for is if you're going, if you're doing some, say, downhill and you want to ride up a really long, steep terrain, this is going to help power you up it at 60% power, or up to 60% power. And the fact that it ain't using 100% power, the battery is probably going to last all day. Like, take for instance this hill we're going down now. I'm going to get to the bottom of this and then I'm going to try using the 60% uh, power assist, which will just, it just stays on like cruise control till you either hit brake sensors or the throttle again. So this is a pretty big hill we're flying down now. I've got no power on. Can't see what speed we're going, but you guys probably can. It's a fairly big hill, you get the idea. Right, I'm going to spin it round here. So what you have to do, let's get into a low gear. Right, here we go. Now this is using the, uh, kind of, I'll just call it, call it cruise control because it is just cruise control. So I'm putting in no effort at all now. Obviously I can change down gear. If I pedal with it, I'm putting in very, very little effort to get up a hill. Just barely moving my legs around with very little effort. So I can imagine this would be quite useful if you want to go up and down all day and just use the electric for uh, getting yourself up the hill and then ride it like a normal mountain bike coming down. I mean, it's definitely not fast. Think of it as equivalent as taking you up in one of them stair lift things up a ski slope. It will just pull your ass up the hill all day. I mean, I'm not pedaling at all right now. So, it's kind of useful. Just gonna let this car go past. Yeah, weather's not amazing guys, just a quick one, so uh, quick first outing on this thing. Quick, smooth, very powerful for the size motor. <laughs> Such a big kid. Oh, I've got bits of mud flying up and hitting me everywhere. Deserves me right, doesn't it? Oh dear. 
This is what happens when you have fun. Imagine trying to go through the woods with that hanging off the bike, not bang your knees into it. That's what I'm dealing with. I've got this cable hanging out in the backpack. I've got me microphone cable, joys of being a vlogger. It's pretty bad also, isn't it? Right guys, just quick first thoughts on that. So, not the ideal day. I've got to go teach Jiu Jitsu this evening, so a bit of a rush. I'm trying to get out between it raining, but unfortunately it did rain. It, not the ideal conditions for trying to get a vlog done and test this bike out properly whilst recording it on a camera. Uh, anyway, it is really good. Like, it's got tons of power for the size of it. I've never known a mid drive to be so small and light yet put out so much power. Um, the noise is absolutely fine. I don't know any mid drives that don't put, put out some noise. Um, they all do. It's just inherently a, a mid drive trait that weigh noise in and hubs. But that being said, it is smooth, it is quiet. It's got tons of power for putting up that hill. This was obviously quite a quick test. What I'm hoping to do next is utilize the GPS data, hopefully, on this video, which I'm trying out for the first time, which should give like slope gradients and stuff from GPS data. And I might do some like prolonged hill tests over the uh, bike park just to test the capability and power of this thing going up certain percent gradients because quite often I recall going up hills and it don't come out how steep they are on camera and I've had people go oh I can get up that easily but I don't know like I think some of the hills that I test the bikes out on are pretty damn steep so let us know what you think in the comments guys I'm probably going to go with like some hill tests next before putting it through some proper off-roading yeah anyway just a quick one today guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check out Paradox Kinetics website for their kits and I'll speak to you in the video soon, take it easy.